Shalom. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Makal Kadash. Devil honors to the apostles, devil honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, Wakim, that are teaching the truth in society across the four corners of the earth. This is your brother Kabash coming at you with another if I lesson to the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai. And now I'm going to just get into a quick prayer that um you can say. Um, throughout your uh, day, you know, any time. I'm going to pull a scripture to, to go into the importance of us getting to know our inheritance, such as the Hebrew alphabet, such as knowing how to pray in the Hebrew, things in that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people which are called by my name, which are Israel. Go to Deuteronomy chapter uh, 7, verse 6. It talks about how the Lord chose us as a peculiar people. We are special people unto him. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 8. goes into how the Lord separated um, Adam from amongst the other nations. Because Adam is the son of God. And even when they fell, the Lord still chose them as the chosen line when he came back as the Israelites after the flood. So the Lord's still dealing with the sons of God. It just, the Lord just gave us another name to go by. Um, so I'm going to start with uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. My people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face yeah the meat shall be saved I mean it's like the, the meat shall be saved but the meat shall inherit the earth so the Lord is calling us to come back humbly before him to do his will repent confess our sins turn away from our sins and keep pushing forward to the finish line, which is the kingdom of heaven. Because we're about to get up out of here in a minute. The time is cutting down short. And it says, uh, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Read the first book of uh, Samuel. You know, read the book of Judges. It goes into how the Lord saved us whenever we uh, return to him. I have this prayer right here that I want to get into. Um, and it's basically a uh, forgiveness prayer. You know, read the, uh, the chapter or the book of uh, Manessa, King Manessa. Of, of the tribe of Judah. And uh, he um, he did a lot of wicked things, you know, in his, in his reign, because he reigned for like 55 years in, in Judah. And, uh, you know, when he was brought into captivity, he, he prayed to the Lord for forgiveness. And um, King Manasseh was forgive him for that you know throughout all the wickedness that he did you know but really came and that's to follow the, the law stage commandments of the heavenly father too because like i just read second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 it goes into how the lord commanded us as a people to turn back to him and turn from our wicked ways and continue to follow the lord so this prayer right here i'm gonna start with yahweh you can see the breakdown of the heavenly father name from the beginners Yahweh, he exists, or I am, by Hashem, by in ha da shem name, Yahweh Shai, Yah, He, Yahweh Shai, Savior. Okay, so I'm going to start from the top again. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakal Kadash, and the Holy Spirit. And it says, Bab Kusha, Bab Kusha, Bab Kusha. You say how many times that you want. Um, you said 301. 
And it says, um, Salakia, meaning forgive me, Shaw for call all Katayim sins. Yahweh, meaning the Most High, which is the Heavenly Father. Bahashim in the name of Yahweh Shai, the Savior. Bahashim in the name of Kodash, Holy Rakah Spirit. Tawab, amen, or so be it. So I'm going to read from the top again, and you see how the spelling of the Hebrew is different from the English. You know, although we trans, uh, trans, translate it in, in the English to you, but once you get this Hebrew right, you, you, will, you will really lose... Um, the need of you know wanting to speak English because you already see how it matches up and the meaning of it through the English tongue that we modernly modernly they speak because we don't speak the Hebrew uh, wholeheartedly like we supposed to or how we used to but this is our heritage so I'm gonna start from the top again it says Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Kodash Bukah Babu Kusha, Babu Kusha, Babu Kusha, Salakia, forgive me, Shaw for call all Katayim sins. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kodash Rakar, Tawab. And the Lord will hear your prayer. It says, um, in the Apocrypha, the Lord hear the humble man. Prayer and it pierced the cloud. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get that. Then I'm gonna wrap it up. That means that you know we got access, you know, towards the heavenly Father in a major way than how we think we do because of our low condition on the earth. Pierce. Okay, it's uh, Sirach 37. I mean, Sirach 35 and 17. So like it. And it reads, the prayer, I'm going to go with uh, 16 first. He that served the Lord should be accepted with the favor. So like it. Ecclesiastes chapter 35 verse 16. He that served the Lord should be accepted with favor. And his prayers should reach unto the clouds. So like I said, you know, serving the Lord, doing what you're supposed to do, being preoccupied and ultimately prayer. You know, learn your Lord your learn your inheritance, such as the Hebrew and the scriptures, so it can be more potent. You know, read the uh first chapter in uh, the book of Ecclesiastes. It goes into how the volume of our language 
you know, spoken is is more potent than you know language that was added to the Hebrew, that watered down the Hebrew, like such as the Assyrian Hebrew and uh, other languages broken off from the Hebrew language, such as Latin and stuff, but they all go back to the root of where all languages came from, that's the Hebrew. And it says, verse 17, the prayer of the humble pierces the clouds. See, our prayers pierce the clouds. Until it come nigh, he will not be comforted and will not depart till the Most High should behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. So the Lord is doing that for us, man. You know, if we, if we endure to the end, which the elect is going to endure to the end anyway. So uh, I hope this video was edifying to them. I say shalom.